Hey y'all, happy Saturday, and I am back for another session in our Cabinet of Curiosities journal. So for some reason, I am still in the cities <laughs> of a faraway place. Um, I actually printed out the some more of the images that I took from last week. Remember I told you I don't have my printer down here. So, so this is what they look, this is the original one printed, right? which I love this pinky sepia kind of color. And then this is when the slide recolorized it, which I like this one too. Isn't it funny? So it's nice that it will give you sort of that vintage look of the photos. And then if you recolorize it, it will also kind of give you, I guess, what the original looked like. So I wanted to show you that. And then this is that Buddha, which I will be using in the future. And this is another kind of old world building. I really like it. And it looks like it would be in a city kind of like where this other building was or maybe the next town over or something. So I don't know. I want to work with that. So I just kind of pulled out some things that were like similar kind of in color, but I have no idea. You know, I always say that I honestly do not have any idea of where this is going to go just going to go intuitively. So I think what I need to do first is just separate this off of this paper. So let's get that, move that. And I'll just like getting rid of these edges. It's just easier when I start cutting. I think I'm going to just fussy cut this out. This building, because I kind of do want to have that, this, um, I want to follow the edge of that building. I know that's one thing that I do want to get down. So let's just start cutting it. So like this castle kind of building. How's everybody doing? Hope it all is going well. You see, I'm sitting here so focused on cut, cutting. I'm not even um, dealing with the niceties. <laughs> so let's get this out. Now I want to see how much I'm on to my next page here. And I want this to kind of cover up the bottom of this page. So it looks like if I just kind of cut it up right here, that gives me enough to go kind of extend around a little bit. I want to get this down there. So I really like this. I'm really enjoying these buildings on the page as well, like as sort of a, you know, a field notes book of, you know, <clears throat> the towns and stuff that were visited. <coughs> Excuse me. I kind of pulled this out because, you know, I like all this note stuff. And this is some onion skin that I coffee stained, you know, did a process on that. So I like that. I'm just feeling that could go. Um, this is some text from one of my old documents. Xerox of it. This is some more text of another document that could go. Um, oh, I also pulled this out because this is some fauna that I had had, you know, photocopy of, and I don't know something about this. I just like the idea of this being on, on top of that. So I'm a fussy cut just this out. It may use these pieces as well. So it's almost like this was a, a, a museum, you know, and maybe there were a lot of artifacts in here. And so this was some of the inspiration from the artifacts. I don't know. Um, you know, 
the notes type of thing. So we'll see. Let me just rip this off here. Well, let me just put this down and see where it's going to go. That off. So, yeah, I'm just kind of piecing these things together like we always do. I'm going to put a little bit of this here. If I should put that and then just put this on top. I kind of like this blank there, but then I think it's a little disjointed. So do I want this whole piece there like that? Nope, I don't want that. I like this at the top. I probably should just put it down and then figure out what the next thing will be. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Because I could stay here and then just keep on shifting things around. And let me just me cause myself to create by limiting it to what I have here. If I have this, let's just go with it. Um, what I am going to do is take this out so that I can get this on here nice and flat. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put this down. Now, what I need to do is find, let me just try something here. So we'll go there. So we just have to get something in this area. Let me look in my, my stash. Do I have anything? Good for that little odd piece, you know? Over here looking at this, this box of pieces, maybe. Just open something kind of unusual. I don't want it to be so predictable. I want to get rid of that green underneath there though. So I don't think that green goes with anything. So that's important to get rid of that. Hmm. Oh, I, oh, sorry about kicking this. Godly, sorry guys. I have my, my things kind of set differently and I'm kicking that. Kind of like the idea of that. This um, gridding being there, I think that kind of is like consistent with like cabinet curiosities type of thing. Let's see. And maybe what I'll do is come back with. Um, so this original stuff here, if I just tear this here, put that down like that, so I like that. You know, this is always a process of just figuring out what you're going to do. 
I feel like all this ink blotty stuff better. I like that. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and put this down. Okay. Just never know. Okay, let's get this piece here. So I like the fact that this is kind of like journaly notebook, you know, from a ledger over top of that gridded paper. Just always kind of keeping in mind what the theme of our, our book is while also just kind of enjoying continuing to create and do some different stuff. So I'm always just trying to think outside the box a little bit, but at the same time, staying kind of consistent with what it is I'm thematically thinking about. Like, so I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue our building down. I love these old, um, Slides. Have you guys gotten any and been working with yours? Isn't that slide scan amazing? I mean, for like a little inexpensive app. Oh my goodness. It's just amazing to me what you can do with some slides. And the slides are not that much either. You find them on Etsy. I know a number of you found them. Some of the places I recommend it. But you can find these things at flea markets. You can find them at um, not only flea markets but, um, you know, thrift stores. Oh, definitely your Goodwills, places like that. Because a lot of times people are getting rid of these things and they just have no idea what they are. No idea, so. Well, nobody knows, I mean, they know what they are. They have no idea what to do with them. That's what I meant. It's like yelling. I mean, really. And they're just the best. So I'm going to get a little bit of glue down here. Not that I have to worry about this little piece, but what the heck. I'll probably get covered up when it gets on the other side. But it's nice just to have it finished. So I like that. I like how all that came together. It's just like, you know, notes and sketchy and, and it looks old, you know, like it could just be an old and, and really having these slides, oh, they're the best because they really give that authentic, like you could have come across this and this was just been something on old page in a, a book or something like that. I just love those slides. I'm telling you. So Let's put this back in here. Oh, look at that. That's just good. So, and it works well with this other page. Oh, I love it. This kind of stuff just makes me happy. I don't know why. Just bringing those elements together and just everything is just looking looking pretty authentic not too you know not too like made up okay so now let's go ahead i want to fussy cut this this piece of coral out because everything is just the right color too so let's cut this out first Alrighty. Yep. 
I gotta remember this piece right here because I was kind of thinking about putting this along the bottom. I feel like it could go with this, but I don't know if the color is right. Maybe we'll put some more of this notes. That could be nice. This coral is going to go down there, so let's keep that there. Alrighty. Bear with me. <clears throat> I don't have the patience for a whole lot of fussy cutting. I never have. Hats off to all the people who can really take their time with this. I just don't. But I want to kind of get some space between these, um, branches so that we can appreciate the paper that's underneath there. Okay. That's nice, isn't it? This is a background and then this color works. I think in terms of an element of design, one of the first things that I do match when I'm like actually doing my work is I do think my starting point has a lot to do with color. I know when I'm moving through my elements and just seeing what I wanna pull from I know the first thing that always attracts me is color. So just kind of thinking about it like that, if you know you guys are organizing your materials, you want to think in terms of, I mean, for me, a color, like it's color, maybe for you all, it may be somebody else, it might be texture or, you know, um, shapes. We all have our thing. For me, mine is color. I think that's always my departure point is color. So if you figure out what your departure point is when you're doing collages and stuff like that, that also makes it easier for you to organize your things because you'll think in terms of that particular element as, of art as being, you know, what sort of motivates you. So these are kind of cool. I think they could go across the top here a little bit. I like this one. I think this, I think it's still too staged to do too many of them. So let's put that. Actually, I like it like this. Let's maybe put, let's see what happens if we put them down, put it down here. Yeah, maybe down there, like over top of that a little bit. Um, we need something there. I just love this stuff that it's, um, it's already kind of been, ink blotted you know like it already has like the ink blotty kind of thing and i feel like it matches the weight of you know what else is on the page so this matches the weight of all the other lines so i like that and then this will go there okay let's go ahead and start gluing it on and see what we have here i like it Heck I like. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this one first, the bottom one. Yeah, so we're just storytelling in our journals. The faraway places and just things that attract us and yeah. Put it down there like that. Put this one down there like that. I did like that one. Mm. 
Okay, looks good. So it's like this is kind of like a special specimen page or something, maybe. Let's take and cut this. Yeah, let's get that. I think it's so much fun collaging with a storyline. Most of my, well, because I guess I'm really into book as art, I'm, even my journals and these kind of books always definitely have a storyline to them. I think I'm going to put that up there. I'm sure a lot of you do the same thing. I've never been one to just journal just anything from page to page, even just in my personal journals where I'm exploring, you know, maybe different styles and different techniques. I seem to always still choose a theme. It's funny. Yeah, I like this text kind of being random. Okay, so then this will go right there. Oh, I like this. I like, I like this whole, uh, I am sorry, I'm just kicking that camera. This whole spread I'm really crazy about. So simple. Okay, so let's see. Perfect. And it's funny how this, this botanical I've had for a long, I've had it for a few years, well, it's a copy of it. And this is something I do something completely different with it. But, you know, keeping that page, because there was other, there were other um, of these, corals on there that I used in a, in a different collage. But what's funny is that how this, and then this picture that I just did last week, how pulling those pieces together, how nicely that works. I mean, just how cool it is. And it keeps us on theme. Um, found objects, cabinet of curiosities kind of things, notes from our field, you know, field guide, you know, archeological type of, notes um in these these beautiful slides you know from the cities that you pop into oh, i love it wow that one came together easily i didn't think it was going to come together that easy because i felt like i was struggling with with it um and i even had this piece to maybe have as a found object i mean like as a piece of textile or something you know how that how that textiles I, I like this though what do you all think i actually like that there i really like that let's do that i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it i pulled it out but i feel like it just gives it that extra i've had this little lace piece for quite a while i just feel like it you know just goes in theme with the building or found objects or no, I like it. Let's put it there. It just gives us. Um, oh, um, let me get my Giotto. Cause that could use, um, you know, quite a bit of glue. Get it down there. I've had this piece so long. You know how you just pick things up along the way. Really, I might even had this. Why did I get this? Even been traveling. I don't know flea market or some old fabric shop. I don't even really remember, but I know I liked it. I've got a few of them. Okay, so let's put this. And something about putting it up in this area, over top of that document. Oh yeah, this is good. Yes, and in an odd way, it kind of mimics the fan of this coral. And then that piece there, you know, over this sort of document. Oh, I love it. Pull out all those little lacy bits and all those scraps and everything. Because all of it's documenting 
our journeys. Love it. Oh my goodness. Have all that fabric because we had this from before and It's funny how when I took and um, stained those papers from my printables pack, the Asian pack, and I used those in here, I didn't think about it at the time, but it's nice how it's made this kind of consistent theme um, on the pages. Like even though I'm, you know, I'm collaging on top of them and I'm doing different collages, it just seems like it keeps this sort of consistency going. And then here, like they have some more coral there. I love coral. So I've got, I have all kind of coral. So thumb the video up, please, if you enjoyed this video. And also if you're new to the channel, please hit that all button and hit the bell so you can subscribe. And until next week, you know, happy creating. And from my studio to yours, so much love. Take care. Bye-bye.